This video is going to cover value stream maps, a really powerful process mapping tool. But before we dive in, let me mention if you're interested in a free Lean Six Sigma white belt certification course, you can access one at sixsigmasociety.org. So a value stream map helps us to visualize process steps as well as velocity and time. It adds a few interesting features to our process map. It also shows the steps from the supplier to the end customer. So we see a whole life cycle there. And it shows us the flow of materials as well as information. And the goal here is to help us identify waste, some of the non-value added activities in our process. Okay, so here's an example of what a value stream map can look like. There's a lot of information here. Uh, on the top section, you're gonna see flows of information. Not quite flows of materials yet, just flows of information. So it kind of starts with the customer on the right-hand side there. We get an idea of what the forecast is, what they're looking for. And that in our production office gives us some idea of what we need to order from our suppliers. So we get this flow of information from the customer to our supplier. Okay, that's the flow of information. And then in the middle, we see flow of materials. So after we make an order from our supplier, we're going to see a shipment of parts. And in this case, it's showing us a weekly shipment, but it could be different than that. And then in the middle there, you're going to see separate process steps. So as we go through this uh, manufacturing process, and it could be manufacturing or service oriented, it doesn't have to be manufacturing, but it is in this example. And so there's process A, process B, process C. And then once we've got everything finished up, it's going to be shipped out and there's some monthly shipments or something like that that gets sent to the customer. Okay, so you have the flow of information on the top and the flow of materials in the middle. And then on the bottom is what we call the lead time ladder. It tracks the time where, that we actually spend processing these materials and how much time is spent sort of waiting or in queue. Okay, so what we wanna do is kind of minimize the, the waiting in the queue and, um, because those are non-value-added activities and focus on the value-added stuff, the actual processing time. And let me give you a, a, just kind of a point out a few things here on the chart. So that little yellow triangle in the middle there and throughout the flow is inventory. So the number of units kind of in queue between these processes. And then if you look at the lead time ladder at the bottom, the top lines are queue times, waitings, so six days of waiting, and then four days later, and then a day later, and so on. Those are non-value added activities. And then on the lower rung of the ladder, you're gonna see cycle time, the actual processing time, the, the time we're spend shaping atoms, doing things. That's value added time. We wanna minimize that non-value added queue time and uh, focus on value added activities, those cycle time activities. So thanks for watching. If you're interested in learning more, don't forget to check out the free Lean Six Sigma certification course at sixsigmasociety.org.